The world's largest producer of semiconductors has agreed to the terms of a new fabrication plant in the German city of Dresden. The Taiwanese firm TSMC announcing it will invest 3.8 billion euros in the facility with German companies Bosch and Infineon and Dutch firm NXP each holding another 10% of that joint venture. Now, the German government will guarantee the project with up to 5 billion euros in line with new EU rules that loosen state subsidies for chip projects. Now, TSMC says the new facility will create around 2,000 jobs. Construction will begin in the second half of 2024 with production slated to begin in 2027. All right, Bill Edgickson is a senior fellow at the Center for European Policy Analysis. He joins us from Finland. Uh, Bill, welcome to the show. Help us uh, put this deal into perspective. How important is uh, such a, a foundry uh, for Germany? So I think it is very important, and there are big questions around um, the giving of so much subsidies to build these foundries. This is not the first one. Intel is also building a foundry for multiple billions of euros, and a lot of that money is coming from the German government. So there's a big question over whether state money should be going to uh, build these foundries, which are, are building not perhaps what Europe needs most, which are, these are the most advanced semiconductors. Europe probably needs less semiconductor uh, expertise or, or uh, uh, the most advanced ones, but more for the car industry and so forth, basic chips. And at the same time, probably should be spending its money on something else other than these very expensive foundries. It should be spending it on its strengths, which are in imaging and chemicals needed in the semiconductor chain. So I think big questions. Uh, at the same time, many would say this, this, this is an issue about supply, correct? Um, even though this is not a European company coming in, it's the world leader for semiconductors. We've seen what a crunch in semiconductors can mean for burgeoning technologies. Is this not a supply issue uh, when we look at also on an EU level, uh, why there's so many subsidies for this? Yes, I mean, the EU share of the global semiconductor market has decreased dramatically over the last uh, decade. Uh, it's down to around 10 percent, and the goal is to get it up to 20 percent. But um, the United States is also pouring billions of euros into subsidies. Uh, this investment isn't necessarily coordinated with the U.S. investments. And again, it's, it's producing ch chips that there really are not that many consumers for here in Europe. Um, so the money could probably be better spent elsewhere in it trying to achieve that sort of strategic autonomy and um, resilience. Another dividing point of these subsidies is that some countries can afford them more than others. Could this create more division or tension within Europe if we see a Germany with deep pockets compared to other countries? Exactly. It has created tensions um, in, in Europe because Germany does have what you say, the deep pockets. Um, France wants to have some of these foundries, too, and it doesn't have quite as deep uh, pockets. And then the small countries, uh, uh, be it Finland, be it uh, uh, the Baltics, they don't have the funds to give away to build and subsidize such uh, chip plants. So I think there is this is something that is going to divide Europe rather than necessarily unite Europe. All right, that's Bill Etchickson at the Center for European Policy Analysis. Thank you very much, Bill. Thank you.